Kingsbury Tube Station. One of the many suburbs of London. For the next Nando's, Nando's 90. I don't think I've ever been to Kingsbury before. I mean, Neither have I, I. If I had been to Kingsbury before, it would have been to cross the weather spoons after this fucking years back, like 10 years ago. But I don't think I came out this far because I did it on buses and that would have been a more pain. Although I did go to Barking Side on buses to do the weather spoons, so I'm not sure. But the we were supposed to meet in the weather spoons, but it's flooded. But rather than, you know, call it a pool party, they decided to shut it. And we're in like this old man Irish type pub meeting up for 91. Nando's 91. 91. Yeah. So this pub is about one minute's walk from the tube station and the Nando's is only another two or three minutes walk, it's right across the road, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. I'm oh right, I ha I've seen it, it's, it's right over way. there, it isn't, it's right there, uh, right at the big roundabout there. Um, one of uh, London's glorious suburbs where uh, it's congested and everything. Anyway, I'm here, Chris is here, and Annabelle is here. Hello. I'm here. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Annabelle. <laughs> here we go into Kingsbury Nanos. Looks pretty big in there. <laughs> There are five time. of us here today. Um, we have Katie, hello, and maybe new guest. How about interview? <laughs> Can we hear anything? Yes. All right. What was your first Nando's you ever went to? Morden. What was the? What is your favourite Nando's you've ever been to? And what is the chicken like up north? I don't know, I've never had them before. What's your favourite spice level? My lemon and her. Northern spice level. <laughs> it's pretty loud in here. Well, it's a bit hot, you know. If it was a hotter day, which it has been recently, it might be very uncomfortable. But yeah. They have a lot of windows. Good light. I guess they can open to open sometimes. Alright. It's pretty small. That's my impression. Right. It's quite cramped. They put in a lot of tables in a yeah, small a amount of space. It reminds me of Whitechapel in that way. The light fittings are underwhelming. There's two different shapes in a random. Uh, they put up randomly. There's random pattern. The uh, the walls are a bit decrepit. Not quite as bad as uh, the last one. Tooting, not as dirty as tooting, but no, no. kind of the same. You can tell they're, on, they're open to the same sort of week or so. Yeah. So local knowledge is that this is the location where um, the first television set was distributed from, just a pro. Oh, what was it? Um, Thingy Logie Bear. What was what? John, John Logie Bear. John Logie Bear. I think it was him. He was at uh, Kingsbury Manor, and that was where he sent out the first television signal. Oh, and that's, that's it. it. I know nothing else. That's all of it. That's pretty big, though, considering the impact that television has had on all right. our lives. And you wouldn't be watching this if it wasn't for television. Exactly. You might be watching it on the oh. television. I do want to know that because it's a poster in the weather spoons across the road that told me that when I read it afterwards. <laughs> Thank fuck for weather spoons. Except that it's flooded, so you know. Have you got one chip? <laughs> I stole it off Katie to make her feel better. That's not a portion of chips, that isn't. That's not really a double portion of chips, though, is it? But we'll let that slip. So I've had a look around. I've had a look on the shelf and around here. And the extra hot is the hottest, uh, the hottest numbered sauce they have here. <laughs> I know the extra extra hot is uh, sometimes less hot than the extra hot. But uh, this is supposed to be the second hottest, so this can't be as good as some Nando, surely, if they don't pride themselves in the extra, extra hot sauce. I know some people would complain and get a refund if this was the hottest sauce they had in there. It's shameful, but I'm going to eat this chicken. If there's any left of it once it's been picked up, 
and I'm going to put this extra hot sauce on there. Doesn't even leave the fucking bottle, fuck them. So despite this being a predominantly vegetarian area, I'm at this point through eating my chicken milk and lap still there, foodless. Yeah, I have no food and I'm pretty hungry now. It's pretty late now. Annabelle got preferential treatment with her vegetarian milk because she's going for a new thing on the menu that they're trying to push. <laughs> but lap was going for the tried and tested vegetarian option and it has not materialised. Veggie and pita, no mayo, peri peri chips and uh, spicy rice. The usual kind of thing. Uh, I thought you were rapping there. <laughs> no. And my food is here. How's Chris doing? Finish mate, finish. So I'm going to start my meal. Well that's as much as I can do. But I think I did pretty good. Done better than you have one of your chips. I think everyone enjoyed their food. Here's a tip: if you want a good Nando's dessert, make your own and bring it. <laughs> Ferrero Rocher and chocolate chip cakes. They were good and free, and you didn't have to queue up over there because yeah. it's quite busy now. Made by Annabelle. I do commissions. Um, there you go. If you'd like any big cakes or small cakes, just. Uh, Comment below and I'll see it and uh, I'll do your post. And if you want your advert in this video, please send us some money. <laughs> it's fucking loud in here, it's not upstairs. There's pisses, there's more taps than pisses, there's four taps, there's one thing. Does it flush, does it flush, does it flush? It's flushing, there's a bit of paper on the floor, not too much piss. There's an airplay, does it work? It does work. Even more noise in here, I give that four clutches. A lap says. I say three, because it's really quite tiny in here, it's a bit cramped, so three. Joke of the month. Why did Christian cost the Nando salad? To see his quinoa. -wa. It's a good one. Not too bad, there it goes. So that was uh, Nando's 91 in Kingsbury. There's even, yeah. There's even music playing outside the front door. So anyway, so I'll, I guess I'll let other people do the ratings first. Chris, what did you think? I reckon it was busy in there, and it got, it got busy. Uh, the service wasn't that great. There was no one meeting us at the door. The, one of the waitresses came over and asked what table number was what, which I thought that the people that work in there all day, you know, would know. The chicken was a bit sort of bland and dry, and uh, the halloumi was actually a bit uh, chewier than I would normally expect. The, there was no extra extra hot sauce, which has got to dock them something, and there wasn't a cock on the table, and I didn't get a chance to ask for mayonnaise, because they didn't bother asking us if we needed anything. I'm going to be brutal. I'll give them two cocks. Annabelle? Ooh, um, I quite like this Nando's. I like the fact that they had the kind of salsa music going on. Um, we didn't get greeted at the door, but someone came over very quickly to sort our table out. And then while he was sorting out our table, someone else came over to help us, which I thought was nice. Um, we didn't have to queue very much. It did fill up quite quickly after we um, got in, but you know, not our problem. <laughs> um, my salad was really nice and generally quite enjoyed it. So I'm going to give it a four. Um, I think. Yes, I love from Nando's. I don't really have anything else to judge it on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? Though? I like the halloumi. I think it's got like a crispy outer on it, so I like it's just portions are a bit too small. Um, but they do tend to be spicier on the like the milder sauces, which is a bit of a downside. So. Okay, out of five, you give it three, four, four, three, three four. Half. Yes, I give it yeah. a four. Four, and Katie. Okay, so I actually have no problem with this place. Um, it just seems average. Mm. Except for the fact that Laf had to wait like till I was halfway through my meal to, to oh, get yeah. his meal. Oh. But it was really nice when the guy saw me with a whole chicken, a massive load of chips on this fucking big plate. 
and he came over and immediately brought some plates over made me feel like he didn't think that I was going to eat that whole thing <laughs> so I'm gonna give this place a three out of five three so I thought the place was pretty small um, all, I was kicking over chairs and tables and like shimming my way around all the time so doesn't have that going for it <laughs> but uh, my food was really nice even though it took a uh, really long time but at least when it came it was really piping hot I will give it uh, I was disappointed so not too high two and a half I'll give it two and a half so next is I think it's Bedford I'm pretty sure we'll edit it in otherwise if it isn't Bedford plus because it might not be edited in time Nando's 100 it's coming up soon we're gonna live stream that shit so keep tuned oh. Livestream 100. Okay, see you next time. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye.